Tonight, only on 44 News, a baby born with a heart defect is going on month 10 living in the hospital. And that family is seeing donations now more than ever. 44 News reporter Liam Malero sat down with the family on the baby boy's condition. Well, Kaiser is a two-year-old little boy who has spent most of his life in the hospital, going surgery after surgery, and so far with no timeline of when he could eventually return home. That was the first day he was born, right? It was? Mm-hmm. Oh. That was day one. They just kept piling defects onto us about our son, and it was like our world sank because you hear about this happening to other people and you never expect to have to experience it yourself. While in the womb, the valet family was already hit with the worst news. Their unborn son had developed a backwards heart, not being able to hold their son for over a week and a half after giving birth. Had his first actual surgery at two and a half weeks old. Not being able to come home until he was three months old, but traveling to Indianapolis constantly for surgeries and tests. We ended up losing our home because we weren't able to afford to live there anymore because of it. But in August, doctors told the valet family that Kaiser would be getting one more surgery. He would stay at the hospital for three weeks, then finally get to come home. And then something went wrong during that surgery. Kaiser had to have yet another open heart surgery to repair his valves that weren't working. Being one of the youngest babies to ever have a mechanical valve. His surgeon used the term biting the bullet when it came to trying to pull off the surgery. He pulled through, but then began more complications. Kaiser was put on life support that caused his hand to die, having to get the tips of three fingers removed, and then hit with RSV. For a heart patient, it's a lot worse. He coded, he was down for 25 minutes. And while surgeons tried to save Kaiser's life, attempt after attempt failed, causing his right leg to start to die. They had to amputate there was no saving no saving it we lost a lot more than just time with him with all of the surgeries kaiser has had doctors told the family that unfortunately he isn't a candidate for a heart transplant at this time the two-year-old can't even eat by mouth or stomach as doctors transport food right into his bowels which they say might be permanent even if he were to come home he can't walk on his own because he's always going to be hooked up to a machine. He can't really play. He can't roll. He can't be a kid. And that's what really hurts because I always pictured him and his brother being able to play. I hope that his heart gets fixed. With no end in sight to when Kaiser can finally come home, the family is seeing medical bill after medical bill pile up. That's why they've started a GoFundMe to try and get the community support. We're barely making our rent. We're barely making our car payment. But Kaiser is a fighter. And as Elizabeth puts it, as he keeps fighting, so will they. It's something I don't wish on any mom to have to witness. But seeing him fight, seeing him smile through all of this is what's making me fight for him. Now the family will be hosting a silent auction in July, but they are looking for any items that can be donated to be auctioned off. If you would like a full list on ways that you can help the family, you can visit our website, wevv.com. Reporting in Newburgh, Aliyah Malero, 44 News.